Hello, beautiful people, and uh, welcome back to a very interesting episode in which we're going to talk about the Carl's trial. I'm going to explain you absolutely everything when it comes down to this event right here. I'm going to classify for you all the stats because whenever you are losing, you are allowed to pick between three stats. So I'm going to explain you that and rank those stats for you in order for you to understand better. And on top of this, I'm going to give you the best tip possible when it comes down to this event. And this may surprise you a lot because this applies to every single player, no matter his or her account strength. So let's start, of course, by saying we have the same theme right here, which allows you to use all four heavy troopers. And of course, we also have a specific set right here, which is the Shamshir set, which can potentially get a higher buff. And we're going to go deeper into this once I'm ranking the stats. So you start, of course, by trying to get to a higher level in order to start from there. And you see me here, I started with level 30, I succeed, then I tried level 35, I didn't succeed. Therefore, once these tries are done, my first hit was versus level 31 opponent. So let's start with the most important thing, which you definitely always must do before you hit anything. You must come in here and actually apply these buffs. You can do these dailies and you must do this daily in order to get a higher buff. Granted, you can go directly into the world ranking and actually apply your buffs in here. Some of the competitive servers are asking their players to specifically buff their own people. You can do that or you can literally come here in your own war zone and apply these buffs right here. This is super important because it's also applying to you. In this case, you see what I have picked right here. So good, you're going to have random opponents and of course at these key stages which are stages 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on you are allowed to actually use more marches and you definitely want to have the suppression on your side. In other words you see me here having a navy opponent therefore I have chosen air force and here is how I set up my march of course you should definitely use the Valhalla units. And regarding here the encyclement units on slot number 7 and in slot number 9, we are still trying to figure out a more accurate value up which you no longer need that because the encyclement buffs are far too weak to sacrifice two slots. But let me throw a number at you by saying up 350 Damage increase and damage decrease, you should definitely think about not using the encyclement at all or maybe try it like this. In this case is the Air Force. Put on slot number 7, again an Air Force, but for the slot number 9 you can actually use a tank or you can use a Navy and therefore you're going to get the first tier of the encyclement which is a plus 20% damage increase. Also you always have to make sure that you are setting the heavy troopers exactly for this specific match and you see it's actually super easy to do that you don't have to go into the heavy trooper menu because there you also have a 24 hours cooldown so you go here exactly and in this case i have all four heavy troopers set for air force therefore i put it like this next recommendation what should you do just in case you do not have an air force march or maybe you do not have a navy march but you still want to have the suppression on your side what you can do is actually go on your hero list right here. There are a lot of heroes in Topor which are universal heroes. And what you can do here, for example, in this case, my gypsy is set with damage increase and damage decrease for the tanks. What you can do, you can actually take these two skills off and in this case actually equip air force damage increase and air force damage decrease. And you can do the same, for example, with Mr. Striker right here, which is also in my case set for the tanks. And of course, a third hero, you can actually use Asuka, which is in this case for me already set for the planes. But one thing is absolutely super important to mention right here. Do not play around with your perks because this is not worth it 
to either spend 1000 gems per hero in order to put the correct perks on or actually to use these books right here in order to switch in this case from tanks to planes. This is absolutely not worth it and please carry on watching the video in order to understand what is the most important thing when it comes down to this Carl's trial. Now what else you should do? Yeah, of course, you can use your buffs. You can also organize with your friends a buffing party. And use your buff, of course, use your paints here. Of course, you definitely should use also the buff from Villers right here. And let's go back in there and hit right now and see what's gonna happen. So let's go, let's go, let's go. We're hitting and probably we're gonna lose, but we got some pretty awesome rewards. Now when it comes down to the next attack after this, Again, it's random. Again, it's navy. So you really have to pay attention. I'm going to stay like this. But now you are getting these tactics on the screen. Therefore, we actually need a ranking right here for those of you which are trying to push these ranks at least in your war zone. So the theme of this Carl's trial right here is besides being able to use all four heavy troopers in a single march, also this chipset Shamshir. Now, if you do not use this set, then this will not help you at all. Therefore, the buff from the Shamshir I'm going to put now on the screen is pretty nice, but it won't apply to you because you don't have it. Therefore, from this perspective, let's start with the rank one, which is the damage increase. Now, this is a super awesome example right here, because you see, I can choose between 1,200 damage increase and 6,000 all units attacked. Which one is better? Therefore, you need to know the ratio and the ratio is approximately 1% damage increase equals to 10% attack. So in other words, by choosing this one right here, this is equivalent to 12,000 all units attack increase. So that's why this one right here is far weaker. That's why I must choose this. So yes, the damage increase is the most important stat right here. If you are not using the Shamshir chipset for the heavy trooper. The second most important stat is the DEF. Yeah, so when you have DEF for all units, and in order for you actually to understand and to compare exactly the values, exactly like you saw me comparing here, you must know that 1% DEF, it's approximately around 7% damage decrease. DEF, it's a very massive stat. Good. As a third most important stats to choose here is definitely, of course, the damage decrease, but you should always prioritize, like in this case right here, always the damage increase. And here we also have to mention, just in case you have the damage decrease versus HP, then the ratio is approximately 1% damage decrease. It's equal to approximately 9% HP. So this is an important information for you in order to take the highest buff possible. Good. After the damage decrease, of course, you should choose attack. And after attack, yes, you should choose HP. So let's recapitulate very fast here on the screen. So if you have the Shamshir set, you should definitely take it as priority rank one. Rank two is the damage increase. Rank three is the DEF for all units. Rank four is the damage decrease. Rank 5th is attack and rank 6th is HP. Now, this is the data right here. Now, sure, I could go far deeper into detail because in this case, 1,200 damage increase is not necessarily exactly that because we have to compare it with my damage increase from my account together with the buffs which I already have right now. And we can have a look here and see the last attack and have a look at the attributes and see here I have already a damage increase of 1,703. But I don't think actually it's necessary to go that deep into these stats because now we are coming to the most important part when it comes down to the calls trial. And let me put exactly this now on the screen. You're going to see the loot I have obtained from the last try till now. I don't have any gold catalyst. I sadly also lost that recording from last Carl's trial in which I think I got in total five gold tier catalysts. 
and even two of them consecutive, which is absolutely massive. That's why, guys, you have to focus and do all your hits and plan so that you don't reach 20 out of 20 and you're actually losing hit. It doesn't simply matter if you win. It doesn't simply matter if you lose. What matters are the results. What matters are the catalysts because the rewards are absolutely fantastic. Good, beautiful people. Towards the end of the video, let's try to do an experiment, which is I'm going to take the video right now and I'm going to add a voice over for the Chinese people. So you're going to hear me speaking in Chinese, hopefully with the best translation possible. And we're also going to try in the Arabic language. But I will going to add these two videos on the separate channel, which I have. And let's see if that performs well. Please give me your feedback on those videos if it's actually worth it. Because to do so, I will actually have to sacrifice another at least two hours in order to do that, which is a very precious time for me because I also am planning and aiming for today to actually do the video regarding the runes. I, I want to classify the runes. I want to explain it the best way possible. And that is going to be a very, very important video. So beautiful people, if you like to support me, you should support me by simply clicking one single button, which is the subscribe button. Of course, I'm going to add the links for this specific video one time in Chinese and one time in Arabic into this video description as soon as I'm done processing this. And as always, beautiful people, don't forget to see me in the next episode. And thank you for watching.